the Rant series, one of the most influential JRPG franchises that you've never heard of. A brutally savage series, but also uniquely hilarious that parodies a lot of things about the JRPG genre from its early days in the 80s and 90s. Now, one of the most fascinating things about this series is its main character, Rance. Rance is an interesting character because, unlike a lot of other Biz Shonen, Pretty Boy, Goody Two Shoes main characters, Rance is a fucking asshole. Rance does all kinds of fucked up shit, like murdering people, raping women, and endangering many, many innocent people. And this is a very normal aspect of the entire Rants franchise. It's one of the major things that turns a lot of Western fans or Western JRPG players away from the Rants series as a whole. The game Rants 6 Collapse of Zeth literally opens with Rants catching and raping an unsuspecting adventurer from the very guild that he works for, mind you. This is not a series for the faint of heart, but there's something uniquely interesting or even admirable about Rants. Now I know what you're thinking, dear viewer, but Jade, this guy sounds like a fucking piece of shit. He kills, he rapes, and he destroys people. Why or, or what could possibly be so great about a person like this? I will tell you, dear viewers, the most interesting or rather admirable thing about the main character of Rance is that Rance does not give a fuck. He is uniquely himself, and he knows who he is and what he wants, and he goes after those things. This is the core thing that I believe a person who plays these games can take away from his character, is the strength in being who you are and going after what you want. What does Rance care about? Rance cares about money and banging chicks. That's all Rance fucking cares about, so the entirety of the franchise essentially revolves around these two qualifying things. However, Rance ends up getting into all sorts of shenanigans through these events and instances. A simple goal of wanting to bang some random chick can spiral into this grand quest to save this kingdom that's on the verge of collapse. And Rance does it because it makes his ego feel great, as well as R-wording a billion chicks along the way. That's the kind of thing he does, <laughs> and he has one hell of a life because of it. I think in modern day society, we get so caught up in ideas of being good, ideas of being upstanding and following these ideals of morality that are put forth by other people that we never stop to think about what we actually want as individuals or what would actually make us happy as people in fact a lot of people straight up repress these ideas repress who they are repress what they want now in the case of an actual person in real life you're not gonna be as fucking extreme as rants obviously in which case you would go to jail <laughs> But, if you're just an average ass fucking person, what you can take away from the Rants franchise is the key to having the most fun in life and living in a way that will make you not regret how you spent your time is to figure out who you are, what you want, and to go after that relentlessly. To chase after the things that give your life meaning and to live every moment enjoying those things. Not getting caught up in what other people want from you and what they believe would make you happy, aka the thing that other people think is good and great and makes them happy that they want to force onto you. You need to avoid that shit at all cost within reason obviously you don't want to fucking go to jail and be like rants 
because Rance is a genuinely horrible person, but it's just an extreme of what could potentially happen when somebody completely gives in to their desires and what they want and is not necessarily indicative of everybody who particularly goes after those things because most people are just fucking normal people who have very common and not harmful interests and desires but don't have the courage to go after what they want and to feast on the things that are important to them a lot of us are too afraid of what other people will think Rance is such a fucking asshole because he doesn't give a shit at all about what other people think. You just need, say, 40% of that I don't give a fuck to enhance your life. And right now, in this video, this may sound pretentious, but I, I am giving you permission, as I am also giving myself permission, to not give a fuck and to chase after the things that make us happy. To get a little bit of rants in our veins, if you will. Anyway, that's the video for this week. If you liked it, please hit that like button and give me a comment. It really helps this video actually reach people and makes YouTube not hate my video and my channel. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next week.